Assessing department. Um, this is one of the departments where the requested amount is different than the admin amount, and it was in relationship to uh, pay increases that the assessor had put in 5% um, for himself and 10% for his other full time and 10% for his part time employee. The town manager. Remove the increase, the administration removed the increases and left them at their uh, wages, what it would be with the 2% that they received this year. And we also increased the merit line. Um, on the merit line for next year, we pro I think they pr proposed 2% raises for all non union, and they included a 6% raise for the full-time position in uh, the assessing department. So the budget in front of you um, is for 287501 That shouldn't be any different than what you guys had, but. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion on this, that um, the board uh, vote for a 6% increase for the assistant assessor. 2017 budget. In the 2017 budget. Yes. Yeah, let's just address this. Well, was there a second first? Second. Just, just address this. This is another one of those situations where the assessor has asked for the 5% increase where we have a discrepancy in what he's being paid now. Whereas at one time the office was six people in there, mm -hmm. it's now three, then it was four people, it's now three people. Uh, we've just gone through uh, re -eval and stuff. He's done a lot of work on it. I think that the uh, the assistant, the, the raise should be in there. But I think this is another one that we really have to look at for next year. It, it, overall, with all the salaries that we have and, and what we're going to do and how we're going to adjust things. Because, it, you know, if you're going from a six-person office to a three-person office and the town's growing and you're doing more and more work, it doesn't make sense. Somebody's obviously doing more and more work. Yeah, somebody's obviously doing more and more work, and I'm not. I'm not saying we should be giving money away or giving raises away or anything, but we should take a good look at it and see where we're going with all of this. So, so we have a motion on the floor to add a six percent, six percent, six percent for, for the assistant. Um, and that is already included in the merit line. That's and we can move it to the assessing department if you want, but we did include a six percent increase for the assessing assistant in the merit uh, line. Right. So. Okay, so that's already there. Someplace else. Sorry, yeah, it's just someplace, someplace else. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Then very good. Good with that. So the, if, you, if you were to vote on the 287,501, that would leave um, everyone at their current salaries, but then they, on the merit line, you do have 2% in there for the assessor. And you have two percent. You would have two percent in there for the part-time um, clerk who works the window there, and then you'd have six percent in there for the assessing assistants. So all three of them would uh, be included in the merit line with the non-union raises at those amounts. Is that how you prefer? I. It makes no difference to me. I'm just telling you how it is right now um, because we put the merit line in a few years years ago and so that's what's um, on the merit line now and how does that look going forward does it is it better to just make the change now move it from merit into the department to assign true costs or how how do you prefer it is it an accounting professional it may it does it makes no difference to me so okay. I think it's however you guys prefer I know um, a while ago that was something that the board had chosen to do to move it all out to the merit line um, and then it gave them some flexibility on how it was distributed I think is how that all so, began. but it's in the merit it is in the merit line, line for sure, yeah. I'll grab my spreadsheet just to verify, but I know we did put it in there. We did move it over. Okay, and what is that? Yeah. Uh, it's not a personnel. Okay. That's where she just went to get her personnel. I just went to get all my backup here. So, but yeah, it should be, it should be, in, it is in the merit line under the personnel section. So it's exactly what I had said. It would be 2% for the assessor, 2% for the individual who is the part-time clerk at the window, and then 2% for the full-time, or 6%, I'm sorry, for the full-time assessing assistant is on the merit line. Okay. Thank you. Take away the motion. Then. Take away the okay. motion. Okay. Yeah. 
Very good. So we need a motion now to accept the 287501. Yes. I'll make that motion. Motion by Rick, seconded by Jim. All those in favor? Unanimous. Okay, the tax